the Ultimate Frog Optical Race Course here in Ultimate Frog Central. I'm Dan Burns and I'll be bringing you today's Ultimate Frog Optical Race Course. Nobody has completed the Ultimate Frog Optical Race Course. Will anybody complete it today? We will find out, but first I will give you a brief walkthrough of our entire course. So the competitors folks and folks will start there and they will have to jump over this first rung and over the next rung without touching either one. Then they'll have to jump over that hurdle, jump over the next hurdle, and move on to the floating swings. The floating swings that cannot touch any sand in the tr in, on this side of the two poles. Then they'll go from swing to swing to swing without touching any sand, move from this swing to this ladder here. So when they go to the ladder, not just anything in between the ladder, and they have to jump to one tire to the other tire, and then jump to right here. So we'll do the pipe slider then, and then move on to the monkey bars. When they do the monkeys, after they do the monkey bars, it'll be an ultimate frog new obstacle that has never been seen before on ultimate frog. We'll dismount and land on this board. This is this obstacle is replacing the brick steps that Mikhail Surratt found on last year. And then they will go on the board where they can only use one foot. Next, they will go under this obstacle, over this obstacle, under this obstacle, and over this obstacle. Then the next obstacle is the ultimate frog bean bag run competition. So they will have to get in five bean bags to complete the obstacle. Next is two bean bags. Then they cannot let fall ice. After they put down two bean thingy, they have to put it down and jump over it. If it falls over, they're out of the ultimate frog optical race course. Next obstacle is this. They will go up to the top rung, which is right here, Go around one time, this ladder, down, jump onto this pallet, jump, and then go straight to this stump, and go around one of all the frogs. All the obstacles, the stops, twice. Then it's the other new obstacle, the wheelbarrow jump, so they'll have to do it again. Then they will come to hurdles for the second time. Next, going to for the second time, and the double stop. And the five steps for the second time. And then instead of going the pipe slider this time, they will do the monkey poles. The monkey bars again, same challenging dismount, except this time when they dismount, they will land on the board and then run this way. They will run all the way to that pit of sand, run over the first hurdle, over, run over the second hurdle, then over the first hurdle, and do the wheelbarrow jump, touch the old starting line. And do the wheelbarrow jump again, and then it's a sprint over the hurdles, these white rocks. Once you get to these white rocks, you are finished with the course and you hope your time holds up. Now that you know the course, we'll get started with our first competitor, Christian Surrett. Last time he had a disappointing fail on Tubi Thingy. He's been trying to correct that mistake ever since. It was such an easy mistake on his part, but he says that he'll be able to get past it and complete the Ultimate Frog Optical Race Course. Well, let's see if he can actually do it. Christian surrett has been doing all kinds of training related to Ultimate Frog, and he thinks he has what it takes to become the next Ultimate Frog, but does he actually have what it takes to be the Ultimate Frog? There's a couple new op obstacles in this course that he's never seen before. I wonder if he will do just as good in these obstacles as he's done on other obstacles in the past, and will he be able to get past Tubi Thingy? So here he is on Ready, the starting block. Ready, set, go! And he's up, oh, going over both of them at the same time, going over first hurdle, going over second hurdle, good. Now getting all set on to the floating swings. Goes on the first floating swing. Take a slower approach than most competitors but still going in the medium speed. Going on to the second swing, moving foot over to the third swing. Remember, he will have to do this obstacle twice. 
and this obstacle is different. You cannot touch any sand in between the ladder and the floating swings. And he's done it good. And But now he has to jump from tire to tire to the board. Whoa, he did that quickly. No more than any competitor. He's going for speed in this one. Whoa, one swoop in the, in the pipe slider going across monkey bowls. This is a new challenging dismount that's never been seen before in Ultimate Frog. And he nails the dismount good. Now going on to the one foot board as he has to go under the next obstacle. Christian Tourette is taller than most of the other competitors and has longer legs and longer arms. That is usually an advantage for most of them, but not for these obstacles. He could get slowed down because of his, because of how long his arms are. Legs. Moving on to the beanbag throwing competition, which is, which a smaller version of the beanbag competition is in the Ultimate Frog Obstacle Race Course. Here is again getting in most of them in. This time it looks like he only missed three this time. No, he only missed two. And he missed the last one, but got the first one in. And now he's coming up with his last beanbag. And it goes in and he can move on to two, we think. You have to hold it behind the tape. No. And just one of the judges reminding him that he needs to hold it behind the tape. This is the spot where Christian Swift failed. He's, last time, he's gonna be extra cautious in this obstacle. And he's made it through! Christian Swift has made it past his nemesis, the Tubi Shingy. Now moving on to an obstacle. For most of the obstacles in the Old Miss Rock obstacle race, this is a new part of the Old Miss Rock. He had to get onto that platform there. Now going around the stumps twice, stumps, Oh wow, he almost failed there. The stumps is an obstacle that isn't that challenging for more of the experienced Ultimate Frog competitors, but you can't be wary of it. Going over both, going over the wheelbarrow jump, both of the poles at the same time again. Let's see how he'll attempt the floating swings again. Yes, and that was a good mount. He did not touch the sand. As he's still on the first swing, in between first and second swings, as he Moving on to the third swing. And now he moves on to the ladder. Forward and down. Up to the both tires. Wow, that was quick. Moving on the monkey poles. Looks like he went slower than he had planning to, but that was still faster than most of the competitors. And now on the monkey poles. Now he's on the dismount of the monkey poles. This is challenging. He aced it last time, but yes, and he has completed it. He is going down. He just has four more obstacles to do. Now going over, over the Wilbur jump again, over the Wilbur jump. Blue's hurdles, he's on the finishing stretch. Christian Surrett has completed the Ultimate Frog Obstacle Race Course. He is the first competitor to complete the Ultimate Frog Three, Obstacle Race Course Challenging four, Version. Three. But will his time hold up? <laughs> that was just an amazing run by Christian Surratt. I'm going to go down there to see if I can get an interview with him. Christian, that was an extraordinary run. What obstacle do you think is the hardest? I'll, I'll definitely get him from the monkey bars to the brown board kind of stuff. That all right, let's get started with our next competitor, Michaela Surratt. Frog! She's pretty confident there, saying she'll be the next Ready, ultimate set, frog. Go. And she's off, taking a pretty slow approach there. That's interesting, seeing some of the competitors' different approaches to this obstacle, newest obstacle, the wheelbarrow jump. And she moves on to the floating swings. On to the second floating swing. Moving on to the third floating swing. Moving on to the fourth floating. Moving on to the ladder. And down. And this tire to the next tire. 
Christian's about to jump straight forward, but she's taking a slow approach in him. Now she's going on the pipe slider. Pipe slider is a more challenging obstacle, but you don't have to do it twice. You do have, but the second time you have to do, just do the monkey pull. This is a dismount here. This, this is challenging. She's never done a dismount like this before in the Ultimate Frog Obstacle Race Course, and she's done it. And moving on to the one foot board, down to the next obstacle. Not going with that much speed there. Just going nor normal average speed, not faster than the other competitors. It'll be interesting to see Jacob Burns go. See how he, Jacob Burns, will do on this obstacle. And moving on, the next obstacle, the Ultimate Frog Beanbag Throwing Competition. And it's in. Next one is Miss. And it's in. And it's a Miss. And it's in. Well, wait a minute. Maybe that wasn't in. It takes just three more to make. And now she only has two more to make. Well, no, no, she doesn't have two more. She only has, she has three more to make. She didn't make any of that run. And this two, and gets in the last one. So he has two more now. And it's an in. She has one more to make. And it is a miss. Almost hits the ultimate front system in the head. And that is in. And she can advance to Tubi thingy. She's moving on. Tubi thingy is an obstacle where you need to have patience. The other obstacles, your instinct is to go super fast. Well, to be thing, you need to go slower. It's challenging for some of the competitors because they're used to the need for speed in the Ultimate Frog Obstacle Race Course. That is the case with most of them, except for to be thing, and she does a clean jump there. Here we are. Going for full circle now with the extra little bit to the ladder. Almost one and a half circles around down to the new newer obstacle and completing the stump. Completing the stump for the first time, now she has to do the stump another time. Moving on to the floating swing. Well, in terms of a dangerous obstacle, because you have to be careful on the mount and in the dismount, because it is, you have such a great chance of slipping and falling and landing in the sand. Taking her slow approach again on this obstacle. She goes, keeps going. Well, that might be a matter of discussion whether she touched it there or not. She moves on to the next obstacle. So, taking on the dismount. This is careful, she failed her last time. Oh! And fails on the dismount of the monkey bars. Let's review that again in slow motion. She starts here. Let's review that questionable one that we had before. Moves down. And yes, she does touch it. But will the judges say that is a fail or not? And then she kept going. Till did the monkey bars good. Down. She yet landed. Let's do it again. Down, landed both feet off. And that is an elimination from the Ultimate Frog Obstacle Race Course. I'll go down to interview the Kale Surrett right now. That's right, disappointing frog. What happened? You know, I I already knew before on my second time going on the monkey poles, my foot obviously did touch. So when I did make it to the brown board, I just knew I should. I I knew I was out already. So yeah. 
that was a matter of discussion about disqualification, and the judges have decided that yes, we were disqualified on the monkey poles. Yes, I do agree, but I'll be back next year, so. Okay, I was just about to ask if you'll be back next year. Let's see you next year. Let's get started with our next competitor, Jacob Burns. Jacob Burns failed on the floating swings last year on a questionable elimination there for Jacob Burns last year, but he is determined to complete the Ultimate Frog Obstacle Race Course and become the second person ever to complete this challenging version. We'll see Jacob Burns' run right after this short break. You should go to Barney's Carpet Cleaner to get the all new carpet sale, only at Barney's Carpet Cleaner. Welcome back to Ultimate Frog, where we're about to watch Jacob Burns' run on the Ultimate Frog Obstacle Race Course. There's one piece of fluffer mat left in the house. Give it to me, it's mine! <laughs> Jacob Burns is run as he's about to step up onto the starting block in the Ultimate Frog Obstacle Race Course. So here he is on the starting block of the Ready, Ultimate Frog step. Obstacle Go. Race Course. Jim's over, not as slow as Michaela Surrett's attempt, but as I said earlier, it is pretty interesting to see all the different attempts. I wonder how James Burns will do the new obstacle the wheel world jump. Jacob Burns doing slow on the first floating swings though. Now we're moving on to the second floating swing. Moving on to the third floating swing. Moves on, next obstacle. Grips onto the ladder. Well, having a hard time getting onto the ladder, the ladder tilting a bit, but recovering nicely. Now he has to go, for the Jake Burns' the size, this will be challenging, as he has to go and hear what kind of attempt will he make. Whoa, nice attempt by Jacob Burns. We just had to watch that again. That was an amazing attempt by Jacob Burns. Keeps going. Jacob Burns now attempting the monkey bars. He's good about halfway down the monkey bars. Going slow but steady. And she's up at the end. They're going for the dismount. Whoa, an amazing dismount there by Jacob Burns. Whoa, he's been flying through the section of obstacles. Let's see how he does in this one. Oh my, that was amazing. Just flying through all those obstacles. Now he's with the Ultimate Frog Beanbag Sporting Competition. That was amazing. We'll review that afterwards. That was just amazing how fast he went through all those. We will definitely have to review that later. And at the end, Jacob Burns is throwing pretty hard there. It's been only picking up one, so it looks like Jacob will have to pick up about four. Let's see. One, and it's in. Two, and it's in. Three, it's in. Four, ooh, it's a miss. Bounced off the rim. I was close to having a four straight there. You can burn this with one last bean bag. And it's in, and he's advancing the 2 be thingy. 
to be taking is a really challenging obstacle. You'll have to be very focused on it. He said the tube in an interview earlier with me, he said it was a really challenging obstacle. And he said he's been working on good ways to practice it. Now jumps over it and it's good. Now he's going over the next obstacle. Jacob Burns said earlier to me, earlier today, that he does not like this obstacle. But so far he's doing it pretty good as he's going down the ladder. Jake, go to the board. Some of Jake's friends there cheering him on, giving him some advice. He goes on to fifth, the fifth stump. First, third, fourth, fifth stump, but he's completed the stump for the second time. He's got only a little while left to go in the ultimate frog off the glory course. More, going over to the next hurdle. The two big hurdles were removed earlier prior to this competition last year for, for other reasons. So that might be, so the competitors this time might go quicker because of that. But it's gotten more challenging where there's been obstacles that require you to go a little slower. So maybe that'll even itself out so that the competitors will not, will have similar time to last time. But since the ultimate pro obstacle race course the clock is not ticking down, it's the fastest time to count and there's no time elimination. Moves on to the first tire. Second tire, this is the by steps. Moves on. Whoa, that's a great technique. Just like we saw last time, he's doing a great technique for his side. Finding a great way to come out of this. Moves on. Doing the monkey pole. And now the monkey bars for the second time. Jacob Burns will be. Jacob Burns has been practicing the monkey bars in the past couple of weeks. Like he said in his mission video, he's been practicing a lot for the past couple of weeks, more than he normally does. And here he goes. Coming around to the next hurdle. Going over the first hurdle, running on. This is the finishing stretch here. He goes over the first Take hurdle. Take your time, Jake. These are the last two elimination obstacles, really. He goes over it. He touches. Do it. He touches the outside. He can do it. He touches the outside. He does it. He's on the finishing stretch. Finish, 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 Jacob Burns gets a time of 5 minutes, 52 seconds, point five six. That is amazing. Let's go review some of those things that happened during his run. I just loved his dismount there. Or as we see now, he loved his dismount. A great dismount. Then watch it the other, second time. Another great dismount. He did a great dismount again. Then he blew through this section. As you saw, I was really impressed. He went through this section of obstacles faster than anyone in the Ultimate Frog Obstacle Race Course. Here. Then he used a great technique for his size. I'm going to go down for an interview with him right now. That was a spectacular run! Jacob, what do you think? the hardest obstacle in this course is that the wheel blow took so much out of me. I thought I wouldn't make it because of that obstacle. Well, obviously no one made it last time. Do you think this course is easier than last time? Or do you think it's the competitors who've gotten better? I totally think it's the competitors. Oh, now we got him back. Well, thank you. Hi, you, you deserve to go get in that pool right now. In the meantime, let's get on to our next competitor, who's on the starting block right now. We'll get started with James Burns' run in just a bit. 
But now it's up. Jacob just finished with a time of five minutes and 52 seconds, point five six. He is currently in second place to Christian's three minutes, 54 seconds, point eight three. Did Christian beat him by almost over two minutes. Over two minutes. But with James Burns' run, will Christian hold first place and Jacob second place? Let's check out James Burns' run right now. He seems pretty confident there. He thinks he'll be the next set, exit frog. Go! And he's up doing the new obstacle just like Christian Surratt. Jumping over both at the same time. Now he's moving on to the floating swings. He said in his submission video that the floating swings in his challenge. He just got past the part that he failed on last time. But last time he made a pass at one time. He fell on the second part. He said, uh, he told me earlier that he thinks he's able to make it but he knows he's able to make it it was just a bad mistake moving on to the top this one's hard let's see what his strategy is he has the same he has the same strategy as jacob burns on this one as he moves on to the pipe slider finishing up the pipe slider as he moves on to the monkey bars halfway to the monkey bars Ooh, skipping a bar that was good. Moving on for the dismount. This is a challenging. He's never done this dismount and he nails it doing the one foot board hook. How, how will he attempt this obstacle? You need speed in this one. He needs a bit beat Christian Surrett's time. Of, of, of almost four minutes. Christian was just under four minutes in his time. And James Burns has to beat that. And it's in. Another one's in. He collects. He's only collecting one. He nailed four in a row. That was impressive. And he misses it. He needs to get this last one in to advance the 2B thingy to beat Christian Threat's time. He, moves on. he needs to beat the time of three of approximately three minutes and 55 seconds a little less than that actually jumps over to the thingy moving on to this obstacle going this obstacle quick he usually Close. always does this obstacle quick this is strong point but it's shorter this time moving on to the crate nice one the stumps are not as slippery this time stumps are harder during rainy conditions but this time they're just as challenging they took out couple of competitors today earlier going over the wheelbarrow jump again going over the second hurdle good at attempt and climbing up to start the phone swings again and he's made it farther than he's ever made it before in the extremely challenging ultimate world obstacle race course Jesus. but this is where his train's gonna pay off because he said that he could com complete it past that floating swing. Doing the same technique again. Some of the competitors switch techniques. But getting up there has taken out a, taken out a couple of competitors so far. But dismount again. Challenging. Mark Pickle got taken out by the dismount. That's just a stupid mistake. And now going down to the wheelbarrow jump. Taking a long distance, going over both from the same. Going over, going over. Both same. This is the finishing stretch. Will, will his time hold up and will it be the next ultimate frog? 341.20. Let's see what Christian had. Oh, you beat Christian. And he beat Christian Surratt. James Burns just got the news. He has beat Christian Surratt. And James Burns has become the next ultimate frog. With a time of 340, 3 minutes, 41 seconds, point 20. Christian had a time of 3 minutes, 54 seconds, point 83. That is, and that... So let's look at our top finishers. In first place, our new ultimate frog. James Burns at the time of three minutes, 
41 seconds, point 20. Christian Tourette with a time of three minutes, 54 seconds, point 83. And Jacob Burns with a time of five minutes, 52 seconds, point 56. And those are our only finishers for today. Mikhail Tourette came in fourth place with a time of four minutes. Mikhail Tourette was out on brown board four minutes and 40 seconds, point 11 in into it. This concludes our episode of Ultimate Frog. Congratulations to James Burns for becoming the next Ultimate Frog and to Christian Tourette for coming in second place and winning second place Frog Muffins and Jake Burns runner-up prize comes in third place. It's still a great time. Those are our only three finishers today. And Mikhail Tourette came in fourth place, falling on the dismount from the monkey poles, monkey bars, excuse me, second time. We've had loads of competitors this time. From James Burns completing with the best time, to Katie Smith failing on the first obstacle. We've had a great time broadcasting this episode of Ultimate Frog. And we'll see you next time on Ultimate Frog.